you know anything about real estate? Um, you can be honest. You you buy houses and stuff. Okay. <laughs> no. I know a little bit. Not really, not off the top of my head. Okay. Um, but I've always been had an interest for it. I mean, we're gonna ask some college students about real estate related. Catch them while they're young. Get some great information. So as we walk, we're gonna travel. We're gonna stop them. See what they know about real estate. Gotcha. Like this probably everybody got hit. Hey, come here. Let me ask you something. How's it going? What's your name? I'm good. I'm Brianna. Okay, Brianna, this is Mike Kelly on the Heavy Good Real Estate Show. You know anything about real estate? Uh, not really. You want to probably answer a couple of questions, win a prize? Yeah, It's free, y'all. It's take about a couple of minutes. Okay. And Brianna, where are you from? I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, and what's your major? Biomedical engineering. And your classification? I'm a freshman. You're pretty smart taking a biomedical engineer. Here we go. Okay. Do you need to be an employee to invest in real estate? No. Mm. No. I don't think so. I really don't know too much about real estate, but I don't think so. Okay. No. Phenomenal. How old do you have to be to invest in real estate? 21. 18 or older. I don't think you have to be that age. How you doing, man? Yeah, how you What's doing? going on? What's your name? Kanil. This is Kanil in the building. Kanil. We, oh, Kanil. 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 I'm sorry, brother. I want to make sure I get his name right. Yeah, um, so where, where you from? Where you from? Uh, Rona Rapids, North Carolina. Rona Rapids. That's the name Rocky Mountain. Yeah. Awesome. 252. Yeah. Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. What's your What's your major? Information technology. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Do you know anything about real estate? Uh, I know a few things. You know a few things. Okay, okay. So we're going to ask you a few questions. All right. Okay. So the question we're going to ask you is... Okay, uh, um, how old do you have to be to have a real estate license? A license? Wouldn't you have to be 18 for a license? Oh, you hit it right on the head, brother. You got that. Phenomenal, right? What what industry can be can you be very successful in? Real estate, stocks, or retirement account? And which one is a tangible asset? Uh, you can be successful in... Uh, I know the tangible is the uh, retirement plan, right? Mm. Actually, it's real estate because you can hold it. Okay. The, the other ones you can't. All right. And you can make money with stocks. Mm. Is that the final answer? Yeah, that's my final Actually, you can make money with all of them. So we are talking to the students about real estate here at the campus of North Carolina A&T State University. And um, hopefully they've gained a ton of good insight. Well, they can probably teach me something. Can you be homeless and still own some form of real estate? Hmm. Can you be homeless and own some real form of real estate? Yes. Oh, yes, you can. And why is that? Um, I don't know. I just guess. I don't think so. Isn't that supposed to be something for where you buy houses? Is that your final answer? Oh my God! You, you're looking at me like that. <laughs> I'm and just I'm saying. Like, no. Are you sure it's supposed to be a yes? Okay. I'm gonna go with. Yes. Smart move because you don't necessarily have to live there. You still can own it though. Yeah. And I'm talking with who? Deja. Deja. Where you from, Deja? DC. DC. That's awesome, man. What's your classification? A sophomore. And what's your major? I'm um, liberal studies with a concentration in pre law. Oh, phenomenal. So you know anything about real estate? No. Nothing at all. Okay, we're going to give it a shot. All right? Okay. Okay, here we go. How old do you have to be to own a home? 15, 17, 18, or 30? Mm, 18. Well, the correct answer is any age, it's because anybody could put a house in your name. But 18 to sign a contract. It's phenomenal right there. Listen, you know, since she played with us and we got, here we got, let's take two bucks with you. Um, how much money do you need to invest in real estate? Um, Couple thousand? Hmm. I want to say. You can invest over a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, like fourteen hundred. Okay, I, I like the way you guessed that. <laughs> well, I'm thinking if you can be homeless and still have real estate, I don't think you need to have anything. Bingo! Because real estate, you can be creative with it. You right. don't need no money, but sometimes some money is good, but you don't need no money. Yeah. Okay. We are back with who? What's your name? Sasha. Sasha, where are you from, Sasha? Maryland. Maryland, awesome. And what's your major, Sasha? Um, journalism and mass communication. And your classification? Sophomore. Oh, you did say that. Sophomore. Phenomenal. Okay. How much money do you need to invest in real estate? Um, enough to like pay for a class mm -hmm. on real estate. I don't know. Well, you know something? Do you see yourself purchasing a home a little later on in life with, with your current roommate? 
Like buy a house with them? Yes. No. No. Yes. You wouldn't. Why is that? I trust them. Oh, you trust your, your roommate? You, you you trust your roommate to buy something with? Mm -hmm. If you had to invest in a vehicle, mm -hmm. stocks, bonds, or real estate, which one can make you really successful and which one is a tangible asset? I guess real estate. Which one's a tangible asset? Uh, stop. Mm, I would have to go with stop. Let's pick some. Which one's a tangible asset? Definitely the real estate one. And why is that? Um, Cause you just get to see exactly what you're investing in. Beautiful, you get to touch it. It's tangible. Yeah. Um, real estate. Real estate is tangible. And you can't be successful if you invest in any of them. Oh, you see, now she was the first one to actually get that. Everybody else picked another one. They said, nah, I'm not sure. Phenomenal.